There's deep, he's always ready to stream His lovely family But don't forget that crazy, the crazy family Oh, oh, oh the crazy family Amanda, Sandra, Anna, Abigail, Andy Are the crazy family Morning, folks. It's uh, 10 after 9 in the morning. It's a beautiful sunny day here. No, it isn't. Uh, yeah, it is. I think it is a beautiful sunny day, mister. I've got my head stuck on the computer. Focus, 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 focusing and focus. It is blue, sunny skies, and the birds are chirping and pooping again. And it's Ella's pre-op. Uh, thing I'm going to do with the hospital today out of children's so Crazy Mama and Abigail and Crazy Ella are going to go out there um, and look who's awake say good morning you just wake up yeah I know and oh yeah something about angry birds no the birds aren't angry outside they're just chirping away I mean they might chirp angry I don't know and pooping and pooping maybe, maybe they poop Maybe they poop angrily, I don't know. <laughs> I'm so angry! <laughs> this is such an angry poop! Okay, anyways. <laughs> I don't even know what to say after that. <laughs> okay, anyway, so she's got this pre-op thing that she's doing today. I'm going to have this stuck in my head all day now. That'll be my status on Facebook today. Ugh, what an angry poop I'm having! <laughs> of course, in the backlash, I'm like, um, we didn't need to know you were angry about pooping, Dean. Thanks for letting us know. TMI. Okay. <coughs> Anywho. So she's got this pre-op thing. That's what I'm going to say. She's got this pre-op date today. Um, going to go get her all checked out and everything. And, and they're oh. testing her, getting blood, taking blood. Taking blood. And they're also going to be doing her weight and all that stuff. Weight and... Oh, finally! That would be the toaster, yeah. my love. Because she's going to be under oh, the anesthetic, so they want to know, like, what, what her weight is, what, how, right. you know, how well she's going to it. They're basically going to make sure that she's A-OK -okay for the surgery on the second, is what it basically boils down to. I'd show crazy mama. Ow! Oh, sorry, I'm trying to get my bagel and it's really hot. Um, I'd show crazy mama, but she's in her 80 and she's, you know... You know, it's, I got a house coat on, so that's fine, but you know. You don't want to show your woman when she hasn't put makeup on and, and she's waking up still, basically, is what it is. So, anywho, I'm going to go and get this bagel done. Bagel. Sesame. Bagel. Is that that's actually? Did you want to say good morning again? Morning. Say morning, YouTube. Morning, YouTube. Hey, folks, Crazy Dad here. So, Xander's playing. Uh, Wii U, and he's playing Mario Brothers. No, it's, it's Super Mario Brothers from the... It's Look at the Super graphics, Mario though. Mario Look at that. I mean, that's incredible. Oh, I don't have it. There he is. Well, then that's the controller for it. Yep, I got the iPod on today. Yeah, I know, it's crazy. But he's doing really well. Like, he's already got three lives. It's nuts. I mean, I'm not paying the $349 that they want for it, but, you know. So yeah, we came here to do some shopping. It's just the boys' day today, because Crazy Mama and uh, Abigail and uh, all of them have gone to uh, the hospital, like I told you. She's already done, though, which is good. So, but... Anyways, we're going to go do some shopping here. Finish up, and we will, uh, see you a bit. Well, what'd you get there? Oh, firepower, look at that. I forgot to get this. That's crazy. Hey folks, it's me again. So we had pizza, Panagopolis. Panagopolis. I can't do it as good as Crazy Mama did. But Xander had ham and pineapple, and mine's all eaten. I had a, 
uh, barbecue stick one. But I wanted to show you this cool new gadget that Crazy Mama picked up for us. It is a baby, you know, let me see this up there. A baby food maker. It actually makes the food, steams it and everything. Like it's ready to go. We don't have to do any sort of other prepping with it. It's pretty neat looking though. And it was regularly $98 and Walmart had it rolled back to $29. So it's a hell of a savings as far as I'm, I'm concerned. Good going, Crazy Mama. So I've just been playing a bit of wrestling, just relaxing, chilling, making myself a cup of coffee right now, waiting for Crazy Mama and Ella and Abigail to come home. And Xander's on the computer, just playing some games or something. And not doing a whole lot. It's still really nice out. My windows are disgustingly dirty. But you can see it's still nice out. The sun doesn't usually set till about 8.30, closer to the kids' bedtimes. Bedtime, I should say. But, uh, yeah, it's just been a kind of just nice, relaxed day. I've enjoyed it. Haven't been able to do something like this for a long time. Just do nothing. You know? So. Anyways, we're going to get cracking. Thanks, John. you got me good doing that now. We're going to get cracking on these dishes here. Tidy up a bit. And, uh, I don't know, maybe throw on a movie or something. So see you in a bit. Hey, folks. Crazy Dad here. Look who's home. Say hi. Hi. What you got there? Oh, a, a big, big tennis ball. And she's been, <laughs> she's been chasing it up and down the kitchen for the last little while. She's, a bit <laughs> she's bouncing her head up and down like the ball goes boing, boing, boing. So yeah, she's home. Crazy Mama's home. Hey, Daddy. How are you? There you go. I'm just kicking it to her. Making Crazy Mama a cup of coffee. Kahlua, Kahlua blend. And it's going to chill. Hey guys, so um, today's was Ella's pre-op appointment at Children's Hospital today and so that went really well. Um, I met with the um, a nurse and I met with the anesthesiologist and um, they explained pretty much what's going to happen on that day. Um, that she'll come in and they'll change her into some hospital clothes and it's kind of nice because they called them a We'll put you in a popsicle shirt. <laughs> and um, then, um, they, you know, they explain that, you know, she'll be in there and they'll do her, um, put like some special cream on her hand that'll numb her skin so that when they um, insert the IV, it won't hurt as bad. And that's called Emla. Um, and then, um, the anesthesiologist explained that, you know, one parent can go into the operating room with Ella um, and hold her while she um, goes under in anesthetic, um, which is kind of nice because then she won't feel so scared um, that, you know, I'll be able to hold her while she falls asleep. And then, um, they'll, you know, I'll be able to lay her on the table and then I'll leave and that's when they'll do all the invasive stuff that I really don't want to see anyhow. Um, and then the surgery is going to last about two hours and then Dean and I can go into the recovery room um, with her while she recovers from the anesthetic. Um, and the anesthesiologist has also said that instead of morphine, um, because morphine has a lot of side effects that can make her feel really, you know, groggy and sick and just not feel great, um, that they're going to give her an epidural, um, which is going to numb her from, you know, basically her chest down, kind of like the same as when you have a C-section. So then she's not going to have any pain, um, and they're going to do that while she's asleep still. And they'll leave that in, like I said, for 24 hours, and then they'll take that out and, and monitor her pain that way. Um, and yeah, it just it, it eased my mind a little bit. Um, of course, there's still the bits of fear that I I have, as you know, no parent wants to see their child have surgery, no matter what kind of surgery it is. Um, so. You know, and also they gave me a special packet of um, soap. Um, I don't have it here. I purposely left it at um, my in-laws house today so I wouldn't forget it. 
um, when we have to go out there um, next week um, and she has to have a bath the night before with this special soap um, <clears throat> and then she's not allowed to have anything to eat or drink past midnight which is pretty standard for all kind of surgeries um, and then yeah then she'll be admitted back up, up into onto the ward the you know post-surgical ward and that's where she'll stay for the next three to five days depending on how well she's doing um, Dean and I talked about whether we're going to vlog at the hospital that day and we've decided that we're probably not going to vlog that day at the hospital we might vlog afterwards um, once she's come out of surgery and stuff but we've just decided that it's probably best just to you know spend most of our time focused on Ella and not uh, not just just not so um, but of course you know we will update all of you on how she's doing and how the surgery went and all that so um, a good place to check up on her is our Facebook page uh, and that's linked down below um, and yeah so uh, that's pretty much all that happened today after we went to the hospital um, and had that appointment uh, Ella Abby and I went to my sister-in-law's house and we had dinner and she got to play with her cousin Zach she had a great time so yeah it was a good day um, and the nice thing is they didn't have to poke her because um, she was just recently in the hospital as you all know uh, last week at Surrey Hospital which is the hospital closest to us so um, they'll have all the, the blood results and stuff like that from there so they didn't have to poke her again which was nice so anyhow um, that's pretty much all that happened today uh, with that. Hey folks, so it's the end of the night. Just kind of winding down here. Crazy mom's falling asleep on the couch. And I'm just gonna uh, chill a bit and listen to some jazz and mess around on the computer for a little bit and then head to bed. So it's been a, like I said earlier, lazy day, just chilling and not doing a whole lot. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. So in the meantime and in between time, I am the crazy dad. Stay crazy, my friends, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.